What's up, my good peoples? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all taking care of y'all self today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on the note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. And I'm glad let's like catch up at the end, baby. Let's Sacramento go. Sacramento at night, terrorizing women for months. The crimes ranging from creepy to terrifying. And victims say this peeping Tom is getting bolder by the day. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live with a search for a serial creeper tonight, Valina. Yeah, that's right. All these victims have been women who live in apartments alone after more than a dozen encounters. They're terrified tonight that next time he'll get violent, even putting up these lights to help prevent him from coming back. I can't put it into words of how awful and terrifying it is. He's definitely escalating in his behavior. I haven't even been targeted, and I'm scared. Three separate women united by fear. He was peeking in, maybe through a half-inch gap. A stranger started sneaking into Monique Moffat's apartment complex in August. It started with ringing her doorbell, leaving women's underwear and roses at her door. I'm not sleeping at all. I wake up every other hour. Her camera's catching this same man at least seven times, staring at her from outside, then escalating in December when he peeped into her bathroom window. I screamed. He had removed the screen off my window, and I was yelling at him, go away, go away. Alicia Alvarado, another victim, is increasing security after catching the same culprit watching her. Tuesday, the latest, in a suspicious string of prowling. I get out of the shower around 12, 15, and I notice my phone's missing and my back door is open. So I immediately knew something was wrong. Alvarado found her phone outside on the lawn with a sexual message written on it. That's my greatest concern is what is he going to do next? At least six women from Midtown to East Sacramento have shared similar incidents online. The women say it's not a coincidence. His description. His behaviors with you know, carrying a sticker pole, disguising his himself in various ways. Neighbor Lindsay is coordinating efforts to catch the culprit with at least a dozen other women suspecting they have been targeted too. SAC PD tell me they're investigating after several reports and increasing patrols in targeted neighborhoods were seen. You can't get comfortable in this world no more. You can't leave your door lock no more. You feel what I'm saying? Because that dude, he had to be really, really watching. These two women for a long time. He was following them every time they come home. He knew they leaving and everything. For him to walk in that late house, to grab her phone, and when she walked out the door, her phone was out the door with a message on top of her phone with some sex or uh, activity words in it. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand why people get so comfortable when they doing something like they can't listen to their door. It's like. You ain't listen to nobody walking in your door, nothing like that. That's so some some has you the way that it has you wasn't listening. You feel what I'm saying? You got to listen. You know what I'm saying? God give all this common sense, man. You got to listen. Don't think because you in your career you comfortable. Wish you think you comfortable in your career. You supposed to be. You want to think you comfortable? Nah, it ain't the time for that to be comfortable. You feel me? Because you got too many weirdos out here. There's they gonna do what they gonna do, and they gonna peep peeping Tom for a long time until. When they get ready to strike, they're going to strike. And the big mistake that she made when she left her door unlocked. So now this is a learning lesson. When you walk in your spot and you know you live alone, please go behind yourself and lock the door. I don't care if you're trying to bring in gross one bag at a time. When you walk in your crib, lock the door, put the groceries up. And before you go to the door, you peep out and see who out there if you bring bringing groceries home at nighttime. You feel what I'm saying? Because it seems like only time when he's striking, uh, doing a peeping Tom thing is at night. You feel what I'm saying? So he getting away with it. You feel me? And then the lights, they throwing on the light pole and all that. Man, that ain't going to stop that dude, man. That dude still going to do what he going to do. You know what I'm saying? So this lesson learned, you know what I'm saying? My good people, you know what I'm saying, man? People just, certain people, man, y'all just need to think, man. You know what I'm saying? God give us the knowledge and everything, man, to think. He don't want you to be dumb in this world. You feel me? Unless you just want to be dumb to the fact of, to the world and to people, you know what I'm saying? You may like, you want to be, okay, if you figure you know God going to keep you safe, okay, God going to keep you safe, but he still give you knowledge. He still give you the mindset to think too, you know what I'm saying? He give us that. So use your brain. It ain't like in this 
90, 90s and the 80s, people leave their door unlocked until this, this guy hitting about the 90s and close to the 2000s. Man, everybody started locking their door, even more the rich white folks. When I was living in Miami, they used to, you know what I'm saying? Now they started locking their door. You feel what I'm saying? Because they would think they were comfortable because they were living in the high priced neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. I bet you they start locking their door now. You know what I'm saying? Because this world getting dangerous. So, on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? That's the end of my spectacle. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smash that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So, on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone. <laughs>